the one, the only, Ben Good afternoon and welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. I'm Ben Today we're going to talk about Mishnah Mishnah is Hey and Vav. I want to talk about Mishnah Hey over here. This is a famous thing. We didn't say these three things on Pesach. You weren't Yotzi Yehovah. A lot of people are mocking. My father's very mocking to make sure to say this. A lot of people are very mocking. Now, the Ron, the Roger of Bartanura brings the Ron. The Ron says, yeah, technically, the Chachili is supposed to say these things. If you didn't say them, you're still Yotzi. It's not good. If you said other things, it's not good. I said a little bit. I said the Mayashtana, et cetera. Or Yotzi. But according to most opinions, if you don't say this, you're not Yotze at all. What, what are these things? Pesach, Matzah, Mor. And it's not just saying the words Pesach, Matzah, Mor. You have to explain why we eat a Karam Pesach, why we eat the Matzah, why we eat the Mor. Pesach is called the Pesach because Hashem Pasach, Hashem passed over the houses of the Jews. Matzah, the reason we're eating on the night of Pesach is because when they left Egypt, they didn't have time to bake their bread. And Mor, al Shemiru. They made our lives bitter in Egypt. So all three things have a reason for them. So it's like Darshina time of the Quran, right? Normally when you do a mitzvah, you don't have in mind, you don't just try to understand why we do such a mitzvah. But over here, it's an essential part of the mitzvah. He got the Mitzvah to fulfill the mitzvah, according to Rumliel, is that you have to explain the mitzvah. You have to know what you're doing. Now I remember like Sukkah, the mitzvah of Sukkah, um, it says in the Mishra Bura, you're supposed to think about the Anani Akavod. You're supposed to have machave when you eat the first kibetza of bread in the first night of sukkah, yozi some mitzvah, the mitzvah of eating yeshiva sukkah. And then you're also supposed to think, you're supposed to think about the Anani Akavo that surrounded the Jews in Egypt, in, in the wilderness. And that's what sukkah is, it's a remembrance of those Anani Akavo. And if you don't have that in mind, you're not yozi with the But I think it's a little more. We say Mrs. Rikos Kavana, or not Mr. Rikos Kavana. What does that Mrs. Rikos Kavana mean? Now, some people think Mr. Zikhavan, I have to think I mind. I am listening to Shofar. No, you don't have to think that. And I've said many times that obviously the mind has no place in halacha. The Torah is commanded to your body. So, Kavana, it's kivun from a lesson of direction. Your your body, when you walk into Shul on Rosh Hashanah, everyone's davening. You don't have to mind that I'm being yelled to the midst of a Shofar. The fact that I'm going to a minion and I'm going and they're davening and they're, they're blowing Shofar, I was yelled to say, I don't have to think about anything. But I think it's based on today what we're saying it's a little bit deeper that Ragamliel is holding Mrs. Rikas Kavana. And really, you need to understand why you're doing things. Now, technically, you can rely. If you're doing things with seaboard and someone's being mo to you, like by Takiya Shofar and things like that, um, you can rely on the fact that everyone understands, seemingly understands, what the purpose of Shofar is. If on Trua, we say it in Davening, we don't understand exactly what it's saying. Just like these explanations of Pesam Atzamar are not complete explanations. But part of the mitzvah of the Shrikos Kavana is you have to machave, you have to, have, you have to uh, intuit the real reason behind it, or at least partial reason behind it. So part of the mitzvah, I, I'm willing to say this, Mr. Shrikos Kavana means that it doesn't have to be a conscious thing, but subconsciously you have to realize it and understand the background of the mitzvah. If you don't understand the background of the mitzvah, so you could be you're not Yosef if you hold Mr. Shrikos Kavana. We have to bask in. Mitzvah Shrikos Kavana by the by the If there are bonds, you don't need Shrikos Kavana by the rices, you do. So like Kriyashma, you have to understand these things a little bit, a little bit basic understanding. That's what seems to come out from Gamliel over here. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.